just teach them the algorithm. I get this comment on social media when I share a different way of thinking. So here's my response to this. First, I think we all want the same thing, for students to be good at math. But what does it mean to be good at math? Now, this is where our ideas and values may differ. For example, someone can say, I value speed and I value if they get the right answer. Whereas others may say, I value if they can do it in different ways, I value if they can visualize it. So as long as our values are different, of course there's going to be tension. Now, I can only speak for myself, but for me, I think there needs to be a balance between procedural fluency and conceptual understanding. So let's talk about addition. Let's do 17 plus 18 with these blocks. So with these blocks, how many sets of 10 and how many ones can we make? Well, we have two sets of 10 already, but we can make another set of 10 with the ones. So we can see that we can make three tens and five ones. So the answer is 35. So when they get to the algorithm, they can understand what carry the one means. Carry the one means that we are regrouping 10 ones as one set of 10. And by the way, this visual counts as math. Math is not just about numbers and symbols. Math is so visual that we miss out on a huge portion of math if we just focus on the algorithms. There's so much conceptual understanding that can be explained through visuals. Now, let's do one more example, this time with the multiplication algorithm. Say a student did 37 times 25 perfectly, like this. Now, afterward, if you ask them what's 38 times 25 and they do the algorithm again, well, they got the procedure down, but do they understand multiplication conceptually? Because someone can say, well, I know 37 25s is 925, 38 25s is just one more 25 than this, so the answer is 950. So I think we get a lot of false positives in math class where we say, yes, they got the right answer, they understand this topic, but their conceptual understanding isn't quite there yet. So if we go straight to the algorithm every time, students might say, just do the algorithm, when we should just take a step back and say, okay, think about the problem first. The algorithm is one way of approaching the problem, not the only way of approaching the problem. So I tell students, I don't want them to feel as bad as I did when I graduated. So students deserve to understand what's happening in math and not just rely on memorization. And I'm being completely honest here. If the only goal is to get the right answer, just use the calculator, why waste time? So overall, learning takes time. It's not a race. And also, math is so much more than algorithms. If we keep pushing algorithms, students might think that to be good at math, all they need to do is memorize algorithms, kind of like what I was thinking when I was in college. But there are so many ways of being good at math. For example, being good at one of these eight mathematical practices. So math is so much more than algorithms.